back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do a brisket flat. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to trim this brisket up. And I'm, what I'm going to do is take some of the fat in the point section, and I'm going to make smoked sausage with it. So that leaves me with this big old flat here that I'm going to take. And I'm actually going to cook sous vide. And I'm going to cook it at a lower temperature so I can get it around medium. So when we throw this on the smoker in a couple days, we're just going to put it on there to get some smoke and some bark to it. But the meat's not going to be well done. I don't have to get it up to 200 degrees or anything like you would normally do on a smoker. So I want that meat to be right around the medium, medium uh, doneness. So it's good, got some good color to it still. So we're going to do that. But first I got to go ahead and trim this up. And I'm not going to bore you with that. But like I said, I'm going to just do the flat section here. And we're going to put that out there in the sous vide bath for 58 hours at 134. And that should break down the meat enough to make it nice and tender. So when I put it on the smoker, all I really need to do is put it on there for an hour and a half or so to two hours to get it a nice smoke to it in the bark. So, all right, guys, I'll see you back when I get this all hey, trimmed up. I just wanted to show you here. I went ahead and separated the most of the point from the flat. I kept a little bit. This is the flat section here. And I kept a little bit of the point on just to add some fattiness and richness to the brisket. So when we're done, so it's just a small part. I'm going to keep some of this fat on here. I trimmed most of the fat off. So this is what we're going to throw in the vacuum bag to sous vide. This is what I'm cutting up. I saved some of the fat and the point here. I'm cutting it up into cubes, smaller rules, small cubes, because we're going to make this into sausage later today. And you'll see that video probably in a week and a half or so. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this up into smaller little chunks like this. And then we're going to grind this up and make uh, smoked sausage with it later today. So just wanted to show you that, guys. I'll be back hey, in I'll, a few. I'm going to go ahead and season up this brisket now. Um, I think I can put it in just a regular freezer bag or vacuum sealer bag today because um, it's just a small flat. The brisket itself was only like a 10 pound brisket. So um, that's why this is such a small flat. And I'm going to use um, Run and Wild's premium gourmet beef rub. I haven't used this before, but Run and Wild sent me some of this to try. Um, and there'll be a link down below for Run and Wild, of course. And if you order anything from them and you use the code fire and water, you get 15% off. But I've never used their premium beef rub before. But I'm going to go ahead and try that on this. Uh... Hey, see, and I haven't used this before. It just goes to prove it. <laughs> so I'm going to use it on this brisket. And I'm just going to put a nice even coat on both sides. And then we're going to throw it in the vacuum bag. I don't use binder, like I've told you before. Um, moisture that's already on the meat is fine for rub to stick. I've never had rub fall off of a piece of meat before. If uh, anything, I would just wash the, the meat off and use the water that way. But I don't use mustard or oil or anything to stick, make the rub stick because it does stay on there pretty good. So just go ahead and get a nice liberal coat on both sides. And we are going to season this once again when it comes out of the bag just to get a little extra layer of seasoning on there, especially for the bark. So just make sure every part of it gets it. And I'll just give it a little bit more on this side. And that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and get this in the vacuum sealer bag and we'll throw it in the sous vide. Just wanted to show you guys, I did was able to fit it into uh, just a regular size vacuum bag because it is such a smaller piece of uh, flat. So it's in there, all vacuum. Remember, always double seal when you're gonna cook for a really long time. I know that, you know, sometimes it uh, seems like a waste, but I've always learned, you know, I learned a couple times that you need to double seal, uh, especially when you got a bigger piece of meat or you're going for a really long time. Only takes a couple extra seconds, uh, but you know, peace of mind is better. So, all right, I'm gonna throw this in the CV, guys. The world can seem like it is out of its mind. Well, if it had its own mind, it'd be true. 
sous vide unit. It's right around 48 hours at 134. And I'm just going to let it sit, uh, let the brisket sit in here for about 30 minutes or so. The water will stay pretty close to 134. It's not going to go up. It might go down a little bit, but that'll be okay. And that's going to give me some time to get the fire up and running. So I just lit this, put a couple fire starters in, and um, I'm going to let the, put some uh, hickory and uh, pecan in there for the brisket. So as soon as this gets stabilized, I will be throwing the brisket on. But uh, I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. One other thing, guys, I'm going to do while I'm waiting for the grill to come up to temp and for the smoke, the white smoke to clear out, is I'm going to ice bath the, the brisket. You can see there, I got it. I just emptied out the hot water, put in some cold water, and dumped some ice on it. What I'm going to do, what that's going to do is bring the uh, temperature of the meat down, get it really cool so that when uh, I put it on the smoker, it's going to attract some more smoke because cooler wet meat will get more smoke on it than warm dry meat. So just another thing I'm doing, take a note, ice bath it because remember we're cooking this at 134. I don't want it to cook much more than that when it gets in the smoker. So the cooler it goes in, the longer it can stay in the smoke without overcooking the meat. All right, I'll be All back right. In a few. I pulled it out of the bag, and um, it's uh, looking pretty, pretty good. It's pretty wet. I'm not going to dry it off um, like you normally would when you sear a steak or anything. When you after you sous vide it, you'd like to get the moisture off so the sear is better. But since we're smoking it, I want that moisture to uh, capture the smoke. I'm going to put a little bit more of the Running Wild Premium gourmet beef rub on there. Like I said, I've never tried this before, but it smells wonderful. I know it's got some good uh, salt, pepper, onion, garlic. I'm going to do both sides. And since this is pretty wet still, that rub's going to stick pretty good. So, not doing a ton, just enough to make up for some that got lost in the liquid. So, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the smoker. Let's get off the smoker. And the internal temp got a little bit hotter than I thought it would. It was actually up to about 160 degrees. But if you can see here, it looks pretty darn juicy. Make sure you can kind of get a whiff of that. Um, this top point was the part here was part of the point. And the bottom part was the flat here. So I'm going to actually cut a part of the flat off. Just so you guys can see that. It's actually still, still pretty red. It's uh, pulled apart. It's very, uh, mm, very tender. You can tell it's not tough at all. And it's pretty juicy. It's covered with juice. So I'm not going to squeeze it. But, mm. guys, this turned out pretty, pretty awesome. And I'll cut a couple pieces off here and kind of show you. see right there just how tender it is and it's still kind of pink on the inside it's not that ugly gray that you would normally see if you cooked it over 200 you can see it pulls apart real easy mm. like I said that's the flat part so still pretty juicy very tender and that's at 134 for 48 hours and then two and a half hours on the grill at 250 so all right guys i'm going to cut this up for dinner thanks for joining me follow us on facebook follow us on instagram make sure you like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and follow us on the next video see you later thanks bye <laughs>